Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Mike Prince Show. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. It is hump day, July 19th, 2017. It's a variety talk show that takes pride in bringing you things from a different angle, stuff that you think about or you don't think about, but once you hear it, you begin to think about it. We talk about everything, but mostly sports, and that is no exception to the rule for today's show. We'll talk about Ezekiel Elliott, just as we were touching bases on him yesterday morning. He got introduced to the news yet again. The Carmelo Anthony drama continues, and a famous person who might not be famous by his natural name, but the name he has portrayed has been fired. we got so much more to talk about in a short time to get there. As we may mention, it is Hump Day and the start of the 43rd Annual Prairie View A&M University National Alumni Association Convention in Houston, Texas, and it should be a very intriguing time for PV Nation to come together from all over parts of the country, and I'm excited that come Saturday morning I will be in the midst as a keynote speaker talking about some things in a memorial service, and I'm Truly honored, blessed, and thankful to be a part of that special occasion. And I just pray that God gives me the strength, insight, and the right wording for whatever will be discussed and how it shall be discussed. I want to remind you that if you are in the Prairie View area, you can listen to the Upper Mic Broadcast Network at 87.9 FM. We are within the city limits of Prairie View. If you happen to be just outside the city limits and you're on the go, you can go through TuneIn, and that is Open Mic Broadcast Network, O-P-E-N, capital M-I-C. That's all one word, Broadcast Network. Or you can save what we're calling our low-tech app, and that is simply a phone number that you can lock in on your phone and get Coverage 24 hours a day, anywhere you go with that within access of your phone. That number is 605-477-5066. Once again, that number is 605-477-5066. You lock that number in, that becomes our low-tech app. And you can keep up with us and all the programming that we're providing each and every day. Day. Don't forget, we're on Instagram at OBN Radio. We're at Twitter at Radio Guy. And don't forget to like our Facebook page and our YouTube page. It is Open Mic Broadcast Network, and they're all spelled the same. And you'll be able to always stay in tune with what's going on here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Ezekiel Elliott got caught up. It was even back. It was back in April, but it came up in the news yesterday, and with all of the latest drama that this young man has uh, been involved with, they're only beginning. Anything they can dig up, anything they can find, they're going to find it. And the question is, whose fault is it? This is what I would consider a self-inflicting wound, something that can be overcome, but you're going to have to work real hard at it. 21, 22 years old, I get it. Been there, done that, got the T-shirt to prove it. But you've got to make some better choices. I know we talked about yesterday how uh, Mr. Charles Barker said, I am not a role model. Whether you want to be or not, you really are. You really are. And you're going to also be a target. 
People are going to be envious of you. People are going to try to trap you and do all kind of things to get whatever they can get out of you. And mostly it's your money. You got to be in position and you got to be head, head smart enough and, and, and savvy enough to be able to maneuver through a bunch of the rubbish that's being put right before you. So we hope that Brother Ezekiel can get this thing behind him. Uh, football training camp starts on July 22nd, and they'll get a chance to to get this behind them, and, and Cowboy Nation can breathe collectively again. And uh, as it was mentioned on our message line on yesterday, you got a lot of football left in you, young brother. Please don't blow it. And I don't want to hear you being like a couple other guys. As a matter of fact, one of your comrades from Ohio State, I won't call his name, but you know who I'm talking about. Exceptional talent, but blew it because of ill-advised choices. Hopefully, you won't be repeating the same thing. i got to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk more about the Carmelo Anthony drama as it continues in New York City. We listen to the Mike Prince Show, Hump Day of Vision, a Hump Day version. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm LaTanya Chappell. I am a proud graduate of Prairie View A&M University. I am the local agent for Farmers Insurance here in Hempstead, Texas, waiting to handle your insurance needs. Here at the Chapel Agency, we offer affordable and reliable insurance for your auto, home, life, or business all across Texas. We believe in taking care of our customers like family. We will help you find the right combination of personalized insurance coverage at just the right price to fit your needs. So come on down and meet our family staff or give us a call at 979-826-3026. Again, 979-826-3026. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, Call 832-213-8824. The Open Mic Broadcast Network is a community-based radio station that was established in 2002. We have been dedicated to local, regional, and community programming with coverage for high school, collegiate sports, ministries, and information. Our goal is to provide quality, productive, and positive programming that reflects the community that we serve. Visit our website, ktorradio.com and obnradio.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Mike Friends Show Hump Day Edition right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I am your host, the radio guy, Dr. Mike Friends. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. Last segment, we talked about Ezekiel Elliott and it seems like mountains are stacking up against them right now. And speaking of mountains being stacked up against them, Carmelo Anthony has had the New York Knickerbockers pull their conversations with the Houston Rockets and all other would-be takers. Still saying that we can work something out. Well, Carmelo has screamed to the rooftops, I do not want to be in New York anymore. I want to be in Houston. But the problem was Houston said that their offer, or I'm sorry, New York said that Houston's offer was nowhere good enough for what the value they see in Carmelo Anthony. So they've pulled back. I still think and I know I can be called stubborn at times, but I still think that the best move for Carmelo is with LeBron James. Maybe with this pause in the conversations between the Rockets, it can open up something between Cleveland. Because once again, I've been stating that the West is so loaded, and if Carmelo wants to reach the promised land, just as KD did. He joined forces with the Warriors. 
why not join with LeBron and the Cavaliers and face the Warriors for stage four or chapter four of the saga? Because let's be honest, the West is truly stacked, and the Warriors are still the team to beat. You hook up with the Rockets, can you get past San Antonio? I don't know. Can you get past OKC? Maybe. But it's going to be a tall order to knock down the Warriors. And if I'm talking about trying to get championship, 33 years old, time is running out as far as basketball years are concerned. I got to take the king and his journey. The song say, take me to the king, in this case, LeBron, and let him yoke up with Anthony. Because, you know, as I stated, in my opinion, Carmelo is a Robin. He's not a Batman, and that's okay. But I believe he would do a lot better getting together with LeBron James. But we'll see how this all unfolds. The Knicks have put themselves in a very, very uh, strange situation. They got rid of the Zen master, and now their quote-unquote star player wants to exit stage left, and we'll see how they talk about it. I, I Like I said, I, I think he needs to go on and hook up with LeBron. LeBron needs to go on and say, look here, brother, let me – drop a little of this knowledge on you, get you where you need to be, and we can all be sipping on my ties come July and August holding up this NBA championship trophy. Don't know how it's going to work out, but we got something that has been worked out, and, man, it's pretty interesting. We'll talk about that when we return. This is the Mike Prince Show on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, call 832-213-8824. This is Willie Simmons, head football coach at Prairie View and m University. I'm sitting here with my main man, Mike Prince. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Listen to the Mike Prince Show weekdays on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back to the Open Mic Broadcast Network and the Mike Prince Show. I am your host, the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, coming to you each and every weekday, Monday through Friday, right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. As we may mention, um, this particular story uh, just kind of intriguing for me. You'll find out here in just a moment. But a guy by the name of Steve Whitmire has been relieved of his duties after 27 years of service and he's been shown the door. And you're probably saying, well, what's the big deal? People get fired all the time. Who is Steve Whitmire? What has he done? You know, and what's the relevancy of this story? Once I begin to reveal to you who Steve Whitmire is, I guarantee you, like, oh, didn't know that was his name. Steve Whitmire, I guarantee you have heard or shared something that he said. As a matter of fact, a lot of people, at least a couple of years back, were going into this sipping tea meme. And the character of choice, for whatever unknown reason, was Kermit the Frog. Steve Whitmire was the voice of Kermit the Frog for 27 years, and he has been fired. Disney, who now owns the Muppets after they bought them from the Hanson Group, decided that Mr. Whitmire was too difficult to get along with. He was belligerent with co-workers, 
translation, he was dubbed as a jerk. And they said, Kermit, meet me in the office. Pack your bags. You got to go. And to surprising measures, the Hansen group is in favor of the firing. So Kermit, as we've known him for the past 27 years, will soon have a new voice. It'll be interesting and intriguing to see and hear how much he sounds like Kermit of old and how different. Maybe his voice gets deeper. Who knows? Maybe Kermit catches a frog <laughs> and voice changes. Who knows how it's going to go? But I found that to be somewhat interesting, taking me back to my childhood, to my Sesame Street days, sunny days. <laughs> It is hump day, and I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. You're listening to the Mike Prince Show, and as always, you never know what we're going to talk about, how we're going to talk about it, but I do want to share with you this one thing. It is celebration time in the land of Prairie View. What are you talking about, Mike? It is the 43rd annual convention for the Prairie View A&M University National Alumni Association, and with that, it gets me excited to share the news. If you don't mind, I'm going to take a moment and have a little party. That never, ever gets old to me, and I know if you are at another SWAC HBCU, you feel the same about yours. And I'm just relishing in the glory. The 43rd Annual Convention for Prairie View A&M University National Alumni Association taking place this week, July the 19th through the 22nd. Yours truly, the doctor. Mike Prince will be the keynote speaker for the memorial breakfast on July 22nd. And I'm truly, truly thankful, honored, and blessed to be a part of that. And I just pray that God gives me the strength, the wisdom, the charisma to pull this one off, that we'll be able to uh, at least bring something of value and intriguingness to my alumni family and everybody else involved. What we want to do, we want to take us another quick break, and when we come back from this break, we'll talk about the volleyball, the dig, if you will, is what we've been calling it, and how it's going to come about and the feature here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Keep it where you got it. You listen to the Mike Prince Show on Hop Day, July 19th, 2017. Larry's Automotive, located in the field store community of Waller County, is equipped to handle any automotive service or repair on your diesel or gas engine, truck, car, tractor, trailer, or RV motorhome. With in-house financing and scheduled service reminders, Larry's Automotive can handle it all. So give them a call at 936-931-5566, 936-931-5566, or look them up online at Larry'sAutomotive.net. Larry's Automotive is an approved AAA Texas repair facility employing a ASC certified technician and a two-time Better Business Bureau Awards of Excellence winner in automotive service. That's because they believe in running an honest business with a no problem guarantee. Remember, every service visit comes with their 12-month, 12,000-mile nationwide warranty on parts and labor. That satisfaction worth the drive. So stop on by or call today, 936-931-5566. 
936-931-5566. And welcome back to the Mike Prince Show. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, coming to you each and every weekday, Monday through Friday, right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Radio Guy. Instagram is OBN Radio. And speaking of follow, um, we have had a great time introducing and presenting the world of volleyball from the Southwestern Athletic Conference through our show dedicated to volleyball called The Dig. We have a new release on Thursdays and no exception to the rule. This coming Thursday will be a feature of another release, and we'll tell you about that tomorrow on the release. But it's just a great, great time. This show is going to be exclusively all about volleyball. We'll have player of the week interviews. We'll have scoring recaps, game recaps, and a whole lot more coaches' interviews and everything. And everybody has been outstanding with it, and it has been a great, great opportunity uh, to teach and, and share with others a very phenomenal sport in that in the likes of volleyball. It is a very intense game when played correctly, a very fast-paced game, and a lot of excitement. So be sure to check out The Dig. It will be featured on Thursdays right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Now, what you can do is subscribe to our Spreaker account, which is S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. Spreaker and look up Open Mic Broadcast Network, subscribe, and you'll never miss a show, whether it's the Dig, it's the Sports Report, the Mike Prince Show. We have our journey alive, and we have a couple other shows that are going to be released in the fall. So be sure to check that out. It is Spreaker.com. You look up Open Mic Broadcast Network, and you get the archives there. You can just simply go to the website obnradio.com, click on talk shows, and you'll have the list of archives and everything that will be available to you. So it is always something going on here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, which is why we do what we do. As I always say, it is never enough time in the day, and especially on our daily show. The fastest 30 minutes in Prairie View, Texas. I got to take another break, and we'll come back into our final segment talking about our next on-location show that will be coming to an area near you real soon. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. You're listening to the Mike Prince Show on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Hi, this is Penny Lucas White, head women's volleyball coach at the Alabama State University. I'm calling to inform you that volleyball kickoff date for all SWAC teams are August 25th. We also will have our first SWAC roundup that will be hosted uh, by Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas on September 22nd through the 24th. Then it will be followed up with the second roundup of the SWAC in Montgomery, Alabama on October 20th through the 22nd on the campus of Alabama State University. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. Bye-bye. The Open Mic Broadcast Network is a community-based radio station that was established in 2002. We have been dedicated to local, regional, and community programming with coverage for high school, collegiate sports, ministries, and information. Our goal is to provide quality, productive, and positive programming that reflects the community that we serve. Visit our website, ktorradio.com and obnradio.com. How you doing? It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. want to let you know about the latest and the greatest going on at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We now have a 24-hour, seven days a week, 365 days of the year message line. You simply dial 713-570-6736. Share your information, comments, tidbits, whatever it is that's going to help enhance our coverage through our local and regional high school and collegiate coverage. Once again, that number is 713-570-6736. And welcome back to our final segment of this morning's show for the Mike Prince Show, Hump Day, baby, July the 19th, 
2017. I want to remind you that our next live remote on location will be August the 21st in Waller, Texas. We will be with the Waller County Line Barbecue, and we'll have our preseason football show featuring our local high school and, of course, our uh, Willie Simmons from Prairie View will be in the house from 6 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will be live just as we were for the SWAC Media Day. And speaking of media days, the MEAC Media Day will be next week, July 28th, from Norfolk, Virginia. And I want to remind you that the Tuskegee Golden Tigers will be a part of the Open Mic family. You can listen to their games exclusively on the Open Mic Broadcast Network at obnradio.com. That will be on Channel 2, as you know it, on the broadcast page. And we're excited about that. We'll have our high school coverage for the Waller Bulldogs, the Hempstead Bobcats, the Rose Hill Christian Eagles. We call them the Angry Birds. We're going to be adding the uh, uh, Stafford Spartans to the mix. We'll have coverage, of course, with Prairie View A&M University. We'll have coverage with the Blinn Buccaneers and so much more in store right here. And don't forget, during that fall campaign as well, we'll have our volleyball coverage with the DIG and the Southwest Athletic Conference. We're also looking to get some high school and MEAC uh, commentary going on with the volleyball content as well. So much to do and a lot to get it done. want to thank you all so much, as always, for your support. You hear the music going in the background. The convention for Prairie View a and University, hosted by the National Alumni Association, starts this Wednesday the 19th through the 22nd. Come on out and support. You can make some donations still for scholarship opportunities for PV Nation. Don't forget our low-tech app. is simply the phone number, 605-477-5066. And you can keep up with us all day, every day, each and every day right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Ladies and gentlemen, I have honor and joy to present this program to you on a daily basis. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the listens. Continue to spread the word. Remember, we're on Twitter at Radio Guy, Instagram, OBN Radio. I'm out of time. Until the morning, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.